California's right to abortion access is enshrined in the state constitution, but Governor Newsom is now focusing its attention on other states. Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Apodaca, joining us live with the fight making its way to the state capitol today. Tori. Yeah, you guys, there is no doubt there is passion on both sides, whether you are pro or anti-abortion rights. Today, we saw those anti-abortion right advocates hitting the streets, making their voices heard as California continues to pass laws that expands the access to abortions here. Anti-abortion advocates on the steps of California's capital. Unborn babies are humans and they have a life. And it's our duty to protect them. In the fourth annual March for Life. I was scared. I was frightened. I didn't know what to do. And I went to Planned Parenthood. They only gave me one option. They confirmed me in my fear rather than re building me up in my identity as a strong young woman. Carol Seidenberg has had two abortions since she was 17. And I've come to deeply, deeply regret the fact that I had an abortion. And I can't do anything about it to change it now. Now, she and others are fighting for change in California, her home state that passed dozens of laws over the past two years, expanding access to abortions. It's disgusting. I mean, a lot of these women are coming from the other parts of the country because they don't have resources. We're almost there. We're going to make it. Governor Gavin Newsom unveiling a new campaign ad in Alabama, showing women getting pulled over and asked to take a pregnancy test. Miss? I'm going to need you to step out of the vehicle, take a pregnancy test. This ad targeting an Alabama bill that would make it a crime for people who help minors get an abortion without informing a parent or guardian. Not one piece of legislation has ever put women, women in prison, so this is just a propaganda campaign. Newsom also planning to propose a bill for Arizona doctors to perform abortions here by expediting licensing after the Arizona Supreme Court's recent decision to uphold an 1864 near ban on abortion in the state. Why don't we actually use this tax money to help women to get out of their situation that they find themselves in instead of just giving them the solution that's going to leave them literally bruised and broken? Now, we also did reach out to Planned Parenthood as well as other pro-abortion rights groups, but none got back to us by the time of this report.